Hi Taurus, it is Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your love sitch spread for September. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Any prominent placements in your chart that you connect with? And cross watchers are welcome. We're going to take a look at your, your situation, the energy of your situation, your energy around the situation, the person who you're thinking about, their energy. We're going to look at common energy possible outcome, energy you don't see coming. We're going to get some advice. And this is for Taurus. We're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Okay, I'm taking note of those, but putting those back in. We're calling in our ancestors. I don't want to talk to anybody else. And I'm still not done shuffling, Taurus, so let's see. There we go. Okay, let's check out your situation, Taurus. We have justice, temperance, four of pentacles reversed, nine of swords reversed, and six of swords. This is actually pretty beautiful, Taurus. This is karmic justice in your favor. This is finding balance. This is Libra energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Finding balance in your situation, finding balance in the karmic justice going in your favor. This is opening your heart. This is creating a flow in and out, back and forth. It's, um, it's like putting an end to a resistance. And especially right next to this nine of wands reverse, this is kind of like dropping your guard but feeling safe to drop your guard. And this is really being able to move on and move forward from some kind of situation that was not awesome. <laughs> but it's like feeling safe to drop your guard and move on. I feel like this is an ultimate forgiveness type of situation or like being able to feel righted after some kind of wrongdoing to the point where you're very authentically feeling that your heart is open you've dropped your guard and you're moving on and you're moving forward for some of you I feel like someone has some kind of health scare or health issue that kind of not that you're not valid in being upset about something that happened in the past but it kind of just takes the charge away from something that has happened in the past and you move on from it and you move forward that's not for everybody but that did come in Let's take a look at your energy. Here you are, instead of going back and forth, it's like you're decided or you've made a decision, made a commitment. You're completely focusing on moving on. And again, instead of looking at all of these options and having your hand in all these cookie jars, you're like focusing. What are you focusing on? And this is like focusing on pulling up all sorts of subconscious programs and patterning, illuminating those. And this is also like pulling up your own programs and patterning and how you manipulate yourself or how you have been manipulated in the past, but how you've, I almost feel like somebody's saying like how I allowed myself to be manipulated or why I did that. Why do I have this pattern of letting this happen? But this is uncovering all of that and really kind of becoming, focusing on becoming aware of those patterns and really knowing yourself. There's some grief involved here. Yeah, there's grief involved there. But even though you're grieving something that happened in the past or maybe even a past you, this is you being very optimistic, looking forward into the future. And this is a waiting card. It's like waiting for my ships to come in, but it's not wishful thinking. It's like really being open to receive the things that you've manifested. And this is talking about some kind of tumultuous, <laughs> I even want to say uprising. Like this is commitment. This is the marriage card. This is the twin flame card, 1111. And there's something that feels like not right. Something had to be tweaked, redesigned. 
uh, recalibrated, refoundationed somehow. And I feel like this is, well, this is your intrinsic energy and this is about you having to kind of redesign your intentions, realign with new intentions. This is all happening internally. And here's the emperor. This is happening internally. It's like you are getting back on your feet, not on your feet exactly, but it's like you recalibrating your foundation so that you feel in control again, in, in charge and in control of your own life. This is so positive and I really like this. I feel like a lot of this though, this is a love such spread. And I feel like you're talking about yourself. You're talking about your foundation, your alignment, how you're moving forward, how you are looking at your past programs and healing yourself, doing your own work. So let's see this person that you're thinking about what's coming in here. They are talking about being the high priestess reverse. They're acknowledging energy of um, secrets being revealed, like not keeping secrets, not keeping information to themselves. And they're talking about a lot of heartbreak. They're going through heartbreak. There's some kind of decision that's been made and it has to do with them. Here's the king of wands. This is, this is a king that doesn't really, they're very charismatic and they're very, you believe them. <laughs> they're very persuasive. So there's some kind of secrets coming up and they're hurtful. They're talking about being in pain. There's some kind of, I hear answer to this question, answer to this problem, but there's a decision that's been made perhaps by this person who doesn't take no for an answer, makes things happen. This is a problem solver, but problem solving in a non-traditional type of way and I feel like this person is giving something up or not um, not offering a cup of love in a way that they had before. And isn't this interesting? Both of you have pulled up uh, the emperor and the empress. This is the divine pair. This could be a married partnership, married couple, but they're calling you their divine partner. You're calling them their your divine partner. And they are talking also about being the in love king or being action oriented about showing love. This would be like talking through love languages. And here's the queen of wands reversed. So they're coming in up here too as the king of wands. And I feel like what they're saying with this queen of wands reversed is that somehow they have made you very upset. They've made you upset. They frustrated you and they're talking about being an expert at you. And they're also talking about you kind of cutting them off energetically or um, pulling your energy away from them. They're saying that they feel the rift in the force and they don't like that. And that hurts them. Huh. So let's take a look at energy that you share here's reconciliation energy here's starting fresh starting new starting over this is the calling card it's like finding your calling in the relationship your purpose in the relationship together this is my therapy card and i don't know about you but i love therapy i think it's amazing so this is energy that you share, combined energy and reconciliation, working things out. And this is switching channels. So you're not just waiting. You're not just tending a field. You're not just kind of going along with it. This is like, this wasn't working. So we're going to do this instead. It's like a, a shift and a switch. Hmm. And then here's the hanged man. It's like, we're going to do this for a while. We're going to see if this works for a while. So there's a commitment that's been made here so that you can see things from different perspectives. And it's this is interesting because it's talking about so you can see betrayal from a different perspective or and or 
So you can see how you've self-sabotaged from a different perspective. And yeah, this is literally seeing things in a different way, understanding in your mind, like I had this story and it was maybe true for a long time, but now it's different. It has changed or it has evolved and it's not the same as it used to be. And here's this King of Pentacles. This is about foundations and creating a solid, safe, secure foundation. This is also the married king. So I do feel like this is quite a committed relationship, um, like in it for the long haul, long-term committed relationship or marriage. Let's take a look at a possible outcome here for September Taurus. And here's the pool. The fool is actually the self-actualized cosmic elf of the deck, starting like Buddha or with the child's eyes over and over and over on a new journey. And this looks like this outcome is talking about starting again on a new journey. Here's lots of, I'm hearing compassionate heart talk, but what this really is, is a lot of communication back and forth. This is coming out of a cave or coming out of some kind of meditation. So this is about being action oriented and starting something new, starting on this new journey. There is some kind of relief here because of that. And this is about still being in transition, feeling things out. Oh, because there's been some really difficult stuff to get through. So Taurus, this feels like, really hard um this i want to even say the worst of it is over but this is about some dynamics that were really difficult to move through and here's the king of swords somebody's willing to be honest i'm also hearing faithful be honest and um follow some rules and i'm hearing something about disrespect they're willing to write this somehow let's take a look at some energy you don't see coming Taurus energy you don't see coming mature woman poverty gift main male from distant horizons. So energy you don't see coming. This feels like someone who has gained a lot of wisdom because they have felt loss. And now what's coming, this could literally be a gift, gift from the universe, gift from this main masculine energy. But this gift has to do with something way long-term, like way off in the distant horizons. So talk about the long game so somebody feels like they were left out in the cold but they are they're gifted something somebody okay so this mature woman has wisdom has wisdom and understands what abandonment feels like this is the love language somebody is receiving a gift and it's a gift of honor it's a gift that um, is a symbol for longevity somehow. Let's take a look at what this person wants to tell you, Taurus. What does this person want to say to you? You and I were too young. This could also mean that the relationship was young or there wasn't enough time for something or hadn't been enough time. I regret lying to you. Ooh. I am not available. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, let's take a look at the romance. 
what the romance angels want to say to you, Taurus. What about this? I feel like this person, to tell you the truth, I feel like this person was saying this before. I wasn't available, but it seems like they are now. And when it says, I wish I could share my good news with you, I feel like this is like, I wish I could share my life with you. Like the things that are happening day to day. Alert. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Express your love. Forgiving and learning. Wow, all of these things have come up. Expressing your love, forgiving and learning. This really all feels like moving forward. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, let's take a look at your moonology. Moonology for Taurus. This is where I just need to know. It's time to take action. Look at the bigger picture. Hold your vision. Luck is on your side. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you today. I will see you in your next reading soon. Bye, Taurus.